Welcome to our live training session number 32, part three. In this video, we're gonna take a look at finishing up our low cam fuel and ignition timing tuning for all of our different cam angle pairings, and then setting our cam angle blend on our low cam table so that we have the broadest torque curve possible, and then we're ready to move into our high cam tuning in the next video. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into the live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Acura RSX. In the last video, we mapped out our zero degree fuel and ignition timing tables for our low cam of operation. And now we're ready to move into the different variable cam tables that we have associated with all the cam pairing. So we're gonna find when we have a zero table, we have a 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So we need to go and map these out for fuel and ignition timing. We have to lock our cam angle so we can see the cause and effect. Now once we do this and we get everything dialed in, we're gonna be able to use this to build a cam blend table. Now if you don't have a chassis dyno, I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks here to be able to figure out what kind of cam angle is gonna be relevant and what you wanna go and program. What I'm going to do here is uh, first jump in here to my online. I'm going to move into select live tuning tables. And when we do this, we're going to show with the live tuning memory here. We have 66% used. We do have our cam low speed uh, selected here. We find our fuel low speed at zero, and we find our ignition low speed at zero. So what we're going to do here is actually uncheck our ignition low speed at zero degree, check it to 10 degree. That's going to be the next cam angle pairing we're going to move to. And then we're going to move from our zero here to our 10. So we need to make sure we do that. And then on top of this, we need to actually go into our uh, upload arrow here and upload those changes. Because remember, when we're making our live changes, we need to actually upload every time we select the next live tuning table. Now in addition to this, we need to copy our zero degree table into our 10 degree and then our uh, for fuel and spark timing and also go into our cam angle table and set that up so we go from zero to 10 degree and actually command it to rotate. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck on our zero degree fuel and ignition timing table. We're gonna have no cam movement. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually jump into my cam angle table first and let's take care of that. I'm gonna go from 1500 RPM and all throughout the table and up and we're gonna go here and do control J. We'll say set selected values to 10 degrees. We're gonna find that uh, we'll lock our cam angle now 10 when we go above 1500 RPM. Now the next thing we're gonna do here is jump into our, uh, our low cam table here at zero degrees. I'm gonna copy my entire fuel table. So we'll copy it. We're gonna to toggle up to the next table right here. We're gonna use our toggle we're gonna see we're on 10 degree. We're gonna paste it. Now, by going in and copying and pasting it, we're gonna find when we move up to the next cam angle like this, we should see that it leans out. We're gonna to have to go through our part throttle. We'll sweep those real quick and make sure they're gonna be okay. And then when we go in the full throttle, we're gonna be noticing that we do need to add more fuel. If we do need to add more fuel, it's gonna be telling us that's a positive change. We're gonna have more cylinder filling going on. We need to add more fuel. And that's gonna be saying that that cam angle is gonna be something we wanna run. Now, if we start to see it runs rich or goes rich, that means we're actually not needing that kind of cam angle. That cam angle isn't gonna be working. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.